Hello there, footy tippers. Final game of the year, the AFL Grand Final. Hawthorne taking on Fremantle, thanks to Cenebet.com. Russell Barwick alongside Mark Dragasevic. For our look at what is going to be a cracking game, everybody's yes. going to have their sign up. We might as well jump in the queue as well. Hawthorne Frio, you're intoxicated by Frio's pressure like everybody else at the moment, aren't you? Well, I am. I am. Um, how can you not be? That that uh, first half of football was uh, premiership quality against, winning football. Uh, it was against a bunch of kids, plus a couple of ex, uh, you know, uh, older it blokes. It was against the Swans. I don't care if they're kids right, or okay, not. Enough, it's that enough. culture, and they uh, they completely uh, forced them back into the uh, into their yeah, defensive half, half, led by uh, Chris Main. I think broke the record for the amount of pressure acts inside forward 50 of 34 or something like that. It's phenomenal. So, I'm, my biggest concern is that, I, you know, the Swans were battered and bruised. Fremantle were on top. Subiaco is a different kettle of fish than the MCG. Um, can they bring that game to the MCG? Well, they can because they brought it to Geelong as well. Like, they've, they've proven once and again, over and over, that they can uh, stand up in finals-type football. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget how good Hawthorne are too. They're skilled enough to get through that cluster, but they have to hit their targets. And uh, for Fremantle, it's a start. That's the key. They, uh, I think the last three times they've played them, they haven't kicked a goal in the first quarter. So that's got to change as well. Well, I've got to say, all of a sudden, to my eyes, the pressure is now on Fremantle because everybody's on this Fremantle bandwagon. Hawthorne, who... Uh, should have won last year and didn't. They led by three or four goals and let the Swans back into it. Yep. They would normally be the ones under pressure because they were thinking, well, if we lose two in a row, you know, we'll be chokers or something. Oh, I still think they'll be thinking that in the back of their head. They do not want to lose two in a row. Uh, they didn't. They weren't meant to win in 08. They were meant to win last year and I still think they are going to be favourites this week. So there will be pressure there. OK, uh, Clarkson v Rossi Lyon. Who do you see as the uh, as the key in this one? I know both coaches are very, very smart. Hands, yes. aren't they? Yeah, so the press conferences are always uh, entertaining with those two. Uh, I think uh, Ross Lyons really got his team uh, strategically uh, to this point. It's two years in the making of uh, the game plan. Went and, there uh, twice with St Kilda, couldn't get the job done though. Oh, this team's not that St Kilda team. I'm, I'm sorry, no. This team's a, a lot different and uh, Ryan Crowley is uh, going to prove to be a key, but I don't think he should go to Mitchell. I think he should go to the second banana, Burgoyne, who uh, kicks goals and send see, a two-way runner like Mazungu to M Mitchell with a bit of pace. Yeah, well, let's see. If they send someone like Mazungu to Mitchell, and Mazungu won't... He's a two-way runner because he'll be running back and forth, won't know which way Mitchell's gone. Mitchell's going to get 30 anyway. Who's going to kick more, Buddy or Ruffhead? Oh, Ruffhead, I think at the moment it's in uh, in better form. He's more dangerous. Uh, it depends uh, who McFarlane goes to. He's only had five goals kicked against him all year, so that'll be interesting. And obviously got Lake down there, um, uh, Lake, Lake up, up the other end. But uh, yeah, um, I'm thinking uh, Buddy might just pull one out of the bag. See, I think he's on ready Long to, odds ready to explode, yes. uh, buggy, Buddy as well. The key for me is uh, Sandalands for the Dockers, and I dare say uh, you're thinking Crowley or someone like that for the Dockers as well. Oh. Uh, I think Fife. Fife is the main man. So you think Fremantle are going to win? I actually think Fremantle are going to win. I, uh, it's taken me a while to get on them, but no, nah, after the last two Hawks. games. I'm on the Hawks. Whatever you're going to do, it's going to be a great afternoon. When do we ever agree anyway? Saturday afternoon, the AFL Grand Final. Don't forget all the best odds. Plenty of markets, more than 200 at Cenobet.com. Hope you have a big day on Saturday and I hope the team that you pick wins.